Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunting sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Well, people we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't but 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bullshit. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt ship. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. dramatically reduce the likelihood of death by shark through common sense and situational awareness.
From Galapagos to Malaysia, sea turtles live all over the world. But only the trashy ones live in Daytona. It is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less discussed is their propensity to feed on feet. that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. Excessive and dangerous lifestyle often results in serious injury for the shark.
massive. Oh, oh look at them teeth. Oh, she gonna make quite a metal piece. Got us some dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? Oh, but why would you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off that. Gamma. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. It's essential that the shark returns to the water.
case of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here.
Overhunting of Fawtix Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. According to the county administrator, Chuck Hucklebridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions. century America, turtle frolics were popular gatherings where guests ate turtle stew and perpetuated the institution of slavery.
should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and use pregnancy tests. There are 70-year-olds who survive gator attacks with nothing but a golf club. Come on. Nowhere is the irreversible degradation of the natural environment more on display than Dead Horse Lake. Bull shark spots the barracuda's lifting scales. Although the barracuda isn't prized as a commercial fish by humans, bull sharks will eat just about anything. satisfy the city's thirst for revenge.
regular there at Flamingo Joe's. Big Saints at Tourist Train. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers.
by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Abdominal muscles to hold them in place, the shark's intestines become ungainly out of water. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Responds with swift retributive action. No. We're both in there, but we need some boats out on dead horse legs. The 
edge of the swampland, by you with it. Time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. <laughs> It's remarkable how quickly Port Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. Probably a bad idea to make a new look to me with natural migration cycles. Just so. Ain't that her? to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program.
needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. home to quite a rose gallery. Despite the Catfish's highly developed auditory system, lab tests revealed they still prefer CDs over vinyl. The cigar-like shape of the Barracuda is instantly recognizable and unmistakably found. recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio stable, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true.
The shark proves as slippery as it is deadly.
hunters stalk their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them upon a single missile. Oh my god! until the hunters grow old. The bartender life ender, Bobby Bojangles.
latest cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can bend it tie shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got itself loose. Boy, he wanted that job. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world.
Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. The shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Bull sharks seem to take a perverse delight in upsetting a boating excursion. out for our shark. Hunters are on the water bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them.
shark to fight another dolphin. It's a kingfish in the mood, quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. Members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative.
shark remains the same perfectly designed predator that swam the oceans when Tyrannosaurus Rex ruled the land. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. Predator is vulnerable outside of her liquid element. A successful shark hunt is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon whiskey and large quantities of pseudo ephedra
come every year to Baton Rouge. There's what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf? Shark Hunt draws to a close. Import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. The shark's movements are supple and precise.
Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. Sultan of Speed, the Maker. And aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako.
According to the county administrator, Chuck Hucklebridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions. Even for a finely tuned predator, visibility underwater is limited to a few dozen feet. sensory organs are all situated near its mouth. to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. to survive in fresh water.
Why You Wrong, The American Alligator. This stealthy predator appears to be seeking food perpetually, stalking its prey day and night. Been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Come, what's wrong? Can you catch no real? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there, I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you saying? Nothing. Boy couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to honor shop. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah?
Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. awful. It's best being natural cowards. Shark hunters will often call for backup upon spotting their prey.
Another danger on the water for shark hunters? Determined process servers. Their boats, the Savage Shrimp, poof all. tell whether government actions can diminish poor Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hunter. Even for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. Attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation.
often come in close proximity to humans. Statistics suggest that people have little to fear from the predator. But you know, statistics. Founder of America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybelle Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. Hunters are forced to post bail and shrug off last night's hangover so they can take to the water. are responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest.
the fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. Despite poor Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be taken. make way better friends than soccer balls who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and straight. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bone. Bull sharks have a habit 
gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Prosperity created by global capitalism allows vacationers to purchase Sunyer Buns and Port Clovis ashtrays. The situation looks dire if the big fish doesn't find water soon.
These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Splintered boats, exploded boats. These are the only boats a shark cares to see. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Fish congregate in pairs, wherein a single dominant male lives with several females and perpetuates the hegemony.
shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons. They're probably Illuminati who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. Exercise caution as she renews her attack. clearly superior depth perception.
the solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. that he was afraid of that ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark No such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana store. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that, was to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings.
Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. Now we playing with power. Got shark. That's marine grade aluminum. Let's see you back to that. Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss him now, ain't you? Can! Get that can! Down, sir! Pete, get to work! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. <laughs> 